Hey guys, today we gonna talk about 5 applications of quantum mechanics that we use every day. Quantum mechanics isn't just about weird theories which can't be explained in a simple way either it's all about things that defy common sense. Quantum effects are real and it's everywhere. So, here are 5 applications of quantum mechanics that we use in our daily life. Number 1 is Global Positioning System or GPS. The GPS receiver in your phone picks up the signal from multiple clocks and uses the different arrival times from different satellites to determine your distance from each of those satellites. Then processor inside your devices calculate a single point on the surface of the Earth and locate you within few meters. These rely on quantum mechanics. The ticking of the clock is the oscillation of microwaves driving a transition between two particular quantum states in a cesium atom. Number 2 is lasers. The video you're watching right now is coming through the laser and optical fiber cable. And laser is basically made of the photon, a light particle that is quantized on a smaller scale. The working principle is laser is purely quantum mechanical. The phase in which laser operate is called stimulated emission which needs a photon of the exact same energy equal to the energy difference between the excited state and ground state. Then the photon can trigger the transition of an electron from an excited state to a lower state. And in doing so, the electron is going to emit two photon of the same wavelength, same phase. And then this two photon meet another two photon and then electron again jumps from an excited state to lower state and emit another two photons. And this amplification continues. The next one, number three is magnetic resonance imaging. The hyperfine transition, which comes from a small energy shift depending on how the spin of an electron is oriented relative to the spin of the nucleus of the atom. And this spin causes the electrons, protons, and neutrons making up the ordinary matter to behave like tiny magnets. We know that the human body is made of mostly 70% water and water are made of two hydrogens and one oxygen molecules. So. The way MRI works is by flipping the spins in the nuclei of hydrogen atoms. A clever arrangement of magnetic fields lets doctors measure the concentration of hydrogen appearing in different parts of the body, which in turn distinguishes between a lot of softer tissues that don't show up well in traditional X-rays. Number 4 is Transistors. The basics part of the computer is a transistor. A switch which basically can be either off or on just an electric switch at your home. Transistors are fabricated from materials known as semiconductors, in which charge carrying electrons are only allowed to occupy certain discrete energy levels, as determined by quantum physics. Number 5 is a quantum computer. Quantum computer requires no introduction. If you want to know more about the quantum computer, I already made a video. The link will be in the description. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumb up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.